Healthcare and life sciences organizations are leveraging technology to radically transform healthcare. Providers are extending the point of care beyond the four walls of the hospital ward, and health insurance companies are moving from passive payers of claims to active managers of their policyholders' lifestyle. In this demo, we will be showing you the core functionality underlying such integrations as we send and receive HL7 feeds both in and out of Salesforce to mock a simple patient admission scenario. We have two endpoints in this integration, an incoming HL7 feed as a flow of data from your EMR triggered on patient admit. The second endpoint is salesforce.com, which in this use case is acting as our master patient index. Here we have Mule Studio, the graphical design environment for MuleSoft's AnyPoint platform. You'll see the HL7 functionality we have is natively integrated into our IDE. The first shape on the process is set to listen for incoming messages over the HL7 minimal lower layer protocol. We are also able to send and receive HL7 messages via any other protocols that the AnyPoint platform supports out of the box, such as HTTP. When any messages are received, we execute a content-based routing flow by using the choice router to select a different process logic depending on whether this is an ADT a01 or ADT A03 message. These subflows handle the actual work for the ADT A01 messages. We upsert the patient information contained in the PID segment and then upsert a patient visit into the patient visit object with the admission date. Using our data mapper, we are able to visually map the HL7 message to a Salesforce object. You can see that by dragging and dropping fields from the left hand to the right hand side here, we can map data values between these different message formats. We also have the option to use Data Mapper's HL7 library to normalize and transform that information in real time. Since every HL7 message requires an acknowledgement to be sent to the source system, we decide at the next choice router whether to send back a success or failure acknowledgement. This acknowledgement message is automatically generated through the ACK message component. Now we are going to send the patient admission message. As you can see, this is the patient that we just admitted and the visit information is recorded in the related list below. And here is the patient visit information. To discharge the patient, we can simply send the patient discharge message in the same manner as before. We have just walked through a use case that illustrates how MuleSoft AnyPoint platform can be leveraged to seamlessly orchestrate your clinical and non-clinical systems in real time.